Chicken would sleep with her head tucked low in the sill beside my bed. My chicken would sleep with her head tucked low beside that room. And I would tell her what I knew, and she would tell me in return. My chicken would sleep with her head tucked low beside that room. This is the writer's toolkit, right? This is all we need. And we're so lucky because we have really cheap tools. You know, when you think about, everybody's talking about the economy and money these days and finances and banks and all these big things that some of us don't understand that well. This is all a writer needs. How many of you write little things down every day? That's the best habit you can develop. How many of you like to read books? How many of you go to the library and feel rich the minute you walk in the door? Some people think you have to have big ideas or big events uh, to have something worthy of writing, but I always believe the opposite. All you need to do is pay attention to the little things, the little, wonderful, amazing things that are around us every single day. That's what we write about, all of this, the scents and tastes and beautiful details around us, so you already know the secret. Once, by mistake, she tore a map in half. She taped it back, but crookedly. Now, on the road and in water, there were mountains right next to her hometown. Wouldn't it be nice? If I were you, I'd tear a map and be right next to you. Yay! Yeah, 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 right next to you. Um, thank you all if any of you looked at this book, 19 Varieties of Gazelle. This is a book of, of poems that all connect to the Middle East in some way or another. Um, my father was born in Jerusalem. He was a very devoted student. He loved school when he was little. He always knew from his childhood that he would be the only one in his family who would immigrate. It was just a sensation that he had. I want to see the world. I want to travel. He always loved language. He studied English, he was very versatile in English and Arabic from his childhood. Any of you, how many of you are bilingual in any languages? Good for you, more power to you. It's a great tool, keep it up. Um, he came to the United States as a college student um, and uh, he worked as a journalist. He actually, his first job in his life was working for the BBC in Jerusalem saying the evening news into a microphone when he was 15 years old. Such a powerful, such a powerful feeling in this room, what you are doing, responding and creating your own work, uh, that will be a powerful, powerful thing to carry you, carry you forward, that kind of respect. And I am so grateful to Moffat Elementary, to Al-Bustan Seeds of Culture, to Ms. Fredericks, to Hazami, to all the people who work with Al-Bustan, to all of you. You are so beautiful. And thanks to the school district, who allows this project to take place. Uh, thanks to the percussionists, and thanks to the poets who read their own poems. You are so beautiful. You have given me the gift of listening and responding, your own voices. You are like a poet's best dream in the whole world. The day feels short and the night feels wide. Little stars go run and hide. Make me a lullaby or have to ride to the other side.